The first full moon for 2022 occurs on January 17th in Water Sign Cancer. The moon is the natural ruler of Cancer, so this is an emotional sign. Full moons are heightened emotional energy, so Cancer full moons are super emotional. This one comes as Mercury has just turned retrograde on January 14th, and Ceres ended its retrograde on January 14th. And Uranus ends its retrograde the day after on January 18th. So there's a lot of swirling energy around this full moon, and we can feel like we have no idea which direction to go in. Not to mention, Venus is still retrograde, so we're super wonky. Cancer rules comfort and support, and that is likely way more important with this full moon. We need to give ourselves comfort so we can feel emotionally stable and secure. And we need to spend time around those in our support system. If you lack a support system, you can focus on supporting yourself. If you don't give yourself support or get it elsewhere, this full moon is likely pretty difficult and very emotional. Cancer also rules foundations, so we can work to strengthen our internal foundations. We can become aware of issues that we need to work on that make us more emotional, which isn't fun, but does give us some needed insight. We can put that to good use. The full moon is opposite Pluto and Capricorn, and this definitely adds to the emotional energy. Pluto is intense and passionate, and with hard aspects like this, it can bring out deeply held issues, stir up power struggles, and we can fight for control. Some of this may feel out of our control, though, and we have to be more flexible. A healthy outlet for frustrations can be super helpful and is something we could all use with this full moon. For everyone, look at any cancer parts of your natal chart to gauge the impact of the cancer full moon. For those who are a little more advanced, also consider your progressed and return charts and if in a relationship, your composite chart. By sign, Aries may feel quite connected to your emotions and you can center your focus on yourself and how you're being impacted by all the wonky energy. This may come at odds to some external pressures from others and balance may be needed so nothing gets ignored. Taurus can work on expressing what you're feeling more openly and you can find a little bit of success if you use a more practical tone. You can finish up smaller projects as your mind gets clearer and leave yourself room for new ventures. Gemini may feel the need to slow things down and this can help you focus on the areas that require more attention and need some stability. If you felt really off, you can start to ground yourself and this can help you feel calmer. Cancer can feel extra emotional since this full moon is in your sign and you can be open with what you feel. You may get attention from others and want to take care of your own needs for once. You may see progress with things you've worked on for a while and know if you should continue or change course. Leo may feel extra drained with this full moon and need some time to yourself. Life has likely been making a lot of demands of you and it can be helpful to get time away to recharge. Quiet and solitude can do wonders for you emotionally. Virgo can push to get more independence with this full moon, but do need to make sure you're not acting in haste. You may feel it's the only way to make the changes you want or be true to yourself, but making use of your smarts can be better for you. Libra may take on extra responsibilities with this full moon, and it can weigh on you if you're not getting any breaks. Try to avoid that. It can be tempting to continue with it depending on how things are progressing, but you need to avoid crushing yourself. Scorpio can stick to what you believe with this full moon, and you can keep going through the smaller issues by keeping an eye on the big picture. You may want to speak up about something, but need to think your words through carefully. Sagittarius may have some deeper issues to work on with this full moon, and you may need to get to the core of the problem. This can give you information that helps you find a solution. It may be tempting to be lazy about it, but that won't help you. Capricorn can give more attention to the people in your life with this full moon, and you may work on being more balanced with your focus. Your focus has likely been all over the place thanks to the retrogrades, and that can throw you off more, so some balance can be helpful. Aquarius may feel the need to get a lot of the little things out of the way with this full moon, and things have likely been pushed aside lately, so this can be a good thing. Just make sure you don't try to do too much and get stressed out. Pisces can take some time to yourself to enjoy yourself a little more with this full moon, especially if you've been feeling impatient or impulsive lately. Some time to reconnect to your heart can be helpful to control that, and you may get creative. So that's it for this full moon. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and check the description for links to the January New and Full Moons article, as well as the monthly worksheet for tracking planetary events like full moons. Wishing you love, luck, and pixie dust with this cancer full moon.